Hi guys, welcome to the village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around career education with a dose of reality check. Today's video is going to be slightly different because I'm going to share with you one pay slip, one profession, <laughs> and one internship opportunity. The reason why I made this video, uh, as you know me, I normally make like longer videos with a couple of opportunities or with a couple of pay slips. But this one, the closing date is on the 7th of July. Uh, so I'm really hoping uh, by the time you get this video, there's going to be at least two weeks uh, left for you to get this opportunity. However, so let's get straight to it. Okay guys, today we're going to be looking at platformist. Uh, that's the profession that we are looking at, how to become one and what are the requirements. And of course, there is a pay slip <laughs> to go with it, right? Uh, you guys are spoiled, hey? Every time we talk about salaries, there will be a pay slip <laughs> to go with it. Uh, anyway, guys, before we get to that, uh, I do make notes, like I do like make notes of all your video suggestions. And I am currently uh, in preparation or putting together a series where I'm going to be interviewing uh, professionals because it's not enough that you just know how much people are earning, but it's also important to know how to navigate uh, those careers, how to get into it, what is expected. Um, maybe you're watching as a parent and you like this for your child and maybe your child is still in grade eight. So it's, it's important, I think it's important information for you to have uh, how to navigate uh, certain careers and not just the money only, you know. So I'm working on that and I'm hoping um, the one interview there is like, it's confirmed now, it's Imaging Technologies and I've been getting a lot of requests on TikTok about Imaging Technologies. So be rest assured that video is coming now let's look yo guys i'm gonna be getting my tongue twister, twisted here a uh, flebo flebo tomist right okay so i'm just gonna be reading directly from our chat and uh, on instagram hi bonnie um this is a payslip of a qualified uh flebo tomist with five years experience i see you don't have a flebo tomist in your payslip challenge so here it is Guys, the flavor tomatoes is those people who draw blood, you know, uh, when you're going to, if you need to, like, maybe taking blood test or something, or maybe sometimes you're donating blood. So they need to know how to find the brain, you know, those type of things. <laughs> That's what a flavor tomatoes is. Okay. So let's see. She's got five years experience, right? Uh, she studied a flavotomy course and then I asked her uh, was it a short course or maybe it's a, it's a degree. So she said after finishing my matric I studied flavotomy. It's a two-year course internationally recognized and I'm registered with HPCSA. Right? Uh, that's the Health Professions uh, Association South Africa. Okay? Oh, not Association. Council. Uh, Health Professions uh, Council of South Africa, right? Uh, it's a course almost similar to nursing, just a little more on the technical side because we draw blood from patients and we don't work for the hospital. We work for pathology laboratories. Okay? Okay, I don't know why she said it's similar to nursing, but maybe she could see that I'm not familiar with the course. Like, uh, I knew it's in health sciences, but I was not familiar with what are those people, like what is their day-to-day -day job. So I guess this is why she said it's similar to nursing. Okay, so then, so that's what she did, right? And then she sent me a pay slip, but then I asked her, um, besides that, is there a leadership program or something? And then, okay, so she mentioned uh, the labs offer it as a leadership, right? Uh, I did mine with Empath uh, uh, Laboratory. Some labs like Lancet, Parque, and SA and PS also offer the course as the learnership, right? Uh, this is fantastic, guys. However, if you didn't get it through a learnership, one can enroll it to study it at ViroK. So that's a college where you can do the course, right? It's a recognized college. It's called ViroK, okay? 
they are clinical institution offering this course and nursing right so you can check them out okay then she shared with me now this is the key reason this is the key reason why i said you know what i need to make this video as quickly as possible because she shared this with me that um, there is right now a leadership opportunity there is there a uh, path care academy uh, applications are now open guys i hope you can see this before the 7th of july 2023 at 5 pm that's when the closing time and date is right so you just visit their website i'm gonna leave the link in the description box you download the form and then you click um, yeah so you just click on the link you download the form you fill it in and then you wait here yeah, okay so that's what you can do if you want to do a phlebotomy technician learnership right guys all the best but what are the requirements before we i've got a page slip but let's look at the requirements guys because you know me i don't want to raise your hopes up and then you get there oh my god i don't qualify so i asked them i asked him so i asked her how was your maths and physics actually what are the requirements and then she responded they want metric with english life sciences maths or maths lit and physical sciences right but i passed my physics with level three it wasn't that great but they still accepted me right the important thing is to pass their selection assessments right test and psych psych psychometric assessment screenings then once they select you you can start the course okay so once you filled in the form the most important thing is the selection assessment guys right a um, testy psychometric and whatnot so i love this i love this because even if you are not like a straight a student like she's mentioning here but you still have an opportunity right so link is, is going to be on the description box below you can just visit and try your luck okay so let's see uh, physics is not really necessary some people were accepted without physics but they don't compromise on life sciences um, yeah you have to have life sciences otherwise it's not gonna work for you okay now let's see how much they are earning she works for one of the labs and yeah now she's gonna share with us how much she's earning with her two-year uh, internship course right and she is let me see she's in she's in kzn right that's the province uh, it might differ if maybe in Houghton or western cape but this one is for kzn right Cash salary which is the basic salary is 23,800 and then there's inconvenience allowance i don't know what is that 1500 i think maybe if you finish work late i don't know cell phone allowance 100 trends and then there's a bit of overtime 1.5 uh it's written overtime 1.50 uh, 2671 and then there's another set of overtime with a 2.00 guys what does it mean is that the number of hours uh, when you say 2.00 does it mean you have worked for two hours uh please let me know in the description box okay and then um that's 387 mm, okay and then sunday time 1.0 hi guys please explain these things to me because i always see it with nursing as well um then it's 2200 and then there is pph uh it's 1.0 i don't know what is pph 1355 so her total earnings for that month was 32150 there was the total earnings for that month and then let's see deductions deduction she's got like a medical aid provident fund and other stuff right um so total deduction seven thousand and the net pay of 25,053 rands. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love this. Uh, for a young person, I really think it's good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Uh, if you need me to ask this person for more information, maybe about the assessment or something, 
please leave your questions in the comment uh, section because i will see them and then i'll go and ask them and then i come back to you and give you the answers but if you don't need that just go straight to the description box apply life sciences math or math slits compulsory physics is not compulsory i wish you nothing but the best please like this video guys um it will tell youtube that this video has value so they will show it to more people and please consider subscribing otherwise i'll see you on the next one bye bye